hello humans welcome to another travel diary and today I am at another very important place here in Saigon I mean this is not a history channel so I'm not gonna <laughs> explain too much and go too deep into that but I guess when I will show you the place you will know what I'm talking about you will definitely know the picture and so yeah there it is do you know people where we are where I am right now do you know this picture so this is the place this, this, this is the gate that they breached and that's insane to be here and this is the independence palace this is where I am right now these are some huge beasts but this place is really beautiful so and right now I'm inside of the palace so I'm gonna have a little walk through here it's crazy to know how much history happened here This is, I think that this is like the original palace built by the French. Wow, this is the cabinet room. That's that's so 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 cool. That was a guy from Viet Cong, and he infiltrated the the South Vietnamese ar army I think it should... ah oh, yeah it's over here yeah, whatever he stole... Uh, he basically stole the aircraft un undetected flew about this palace and dropped two bombs so that was like... savage guy <laughs> what's up next? I see this dust of Ho Chi Minh Hall. State Bank Banking Hall. This is where all of those super politicians were getting fed. <laughs> so this was the National Security Council, and this is the presidential office. That's so cool. There's the fence and that was basically the last thing they had to do. The war was over. Finally. Vice President's office. That one looks actually cooler than the than the presidential one. <laughs> JFK in the back and so guys as every important building this one of course had a bunker bunker for the rats when the bombs are falling some rocket or something Beep. no nothing boring Ooh. in 1958 it's not that I wasn't born and it's not that my father wasn't born at that time but I guess that even his father was still a virgin at the time. <laughs> Is that like a MacBook Air from 70 years ago? <laughs> Reception. 
Hello, I would like to check in. <laughs> ha ha ha, very funny, huh? Oh wow. Switchboard. That's crazy how huge the machines used to be. Like all of this is now the size of a, I don't know, a phone? Or I guess even a phone has more power than all of this. That's really insane. A radio transmitter. Oh wow, and here is a president's bedroom in the bunker. President's war room. Beautiful. So then let's go down. Oh god, that's huge. Security. Uh, An exit. Oh no, please. Kitchen. I promised myself since I quit my job that I will not end the enter kitchen anymore but I'm gonna break this promise so <laughs> I have allergy for kitchens I mean okay it looks cool beautiful enough please I go out fuck you here we go manufactures it manufactured in West Germany blah 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 was captured as a trophy and blah and blah that was a nice car in those times I guess and I think it still is let's check the other side of the building <sighs> it's so hot and I'm starting to be tired after so many hours of walking but it's so cool president's room Residential bedroom. What the hell? Yeah, that wasn't bad. That's better than my hostel. <laughs> wow, that's really cool. Channel number five. Not bad. Not a bad taste. This is where he used to take a shit. <laughs> not great, not terrible. Ah, here we go. The helipad still exists because I can see the helicopter there. That's a sick view. As I'm looking at, at the style, like this was the first lady reception room or something like that. And when I see the style, finally I know where Slanica, <laughs> the school where I used to study as a chef, in which time they got stuck. I would say this is, this is still the same since the 1970s. And I would say my school got stuck maybe in the 60s because this looks quite modern <laughs> maybe that's why I'm su such a shitty chef who knows but yeah it is what it is residential uber and here they had a the little casino a pool table a piano and and a game room And the cinema, not bad. I would actually rent this house. I don't know how much they ask for a night, but it must be cool. <laughs> so people, and this was intended to be as a meditation room for the president, but he turned it into a party room with a bulletproof glass or blast 
waterproof glass and blah 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 and if you see this this place and these guys I think especially this guy he was the first one to climb here and put down the flag of uh, South Vietnam and he was first one to put the North Vietnamese flag up there and it's still up there this was the presidential palace or independent palace or however they call it now it was pretty cool I also wanted to go to a uh, war museum today but I will not have time because I thought that I will spend like 20 minutes at this place and I've spent <laughs> I don't know four hours or five hours that I'm already here so yeah I don't think that I have time to go to war museum today but at least I have something to do for tomorrow and yeah these are the last views from the palace and I will see you hopefully tomorrow in the war museum see you